welcome to another episode of Fun with Dumb. We are entering July. June is ending, and man, we have endured about three to four months of quarantine and life pain. after COVID. Mm. And we are still here. We're stronger than ever, right? Strong as an ox, bro. And uh, <laughs> or a frog. With the agility, with the agility, um, I feel healthy. I've been uh, sober, working out daily, mm. juicing. I can see it on your face, man. Is there a glow? <laughs> Whoa! Don't let me complete the compliment. All right, don't, don't intercept the tell compliment. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> no, you just you know your energy level. You know the ambiance, the aura that's coming off you is mm. nice right now, bro. That's what's up, man. How are you feeling, Rick? Can I tell you what happened? I'm here with my co co-host, Rick Lee. Hi, this is Rick Lee. Can I tell you guys what happened this morning, man? Yeah, tell us. So JL's moving back in. Mm -hmm. It's good news. Ooh. So I uh, spell the thesis about your relationship. Nah, no, nah, they good. <laughs> they good. We good. We good. So I moved the furniture back. You know what I mean? So I instead of it. the single loft, yeah, I moved everything back. And then I did a few, you know, few final furniture moves last night. I passed out because I was tired, man. Yeah. Physical labor. Passed out naked. Mm. You know, but because JL's coming back. And uh, I want to enjoy the benefits of living alone in the loft, which is, you know, sleeping naked once Nudity, in a while. Yeah. You know, I didn't close the fucking blinds on the roof. <laughs> and I woke up to three Spanish workers on the roof looking down at me, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have no idea how long they've been watching. I heard like, oh, I, like, I heard crazy shit. But that was my morning, dude. Very liberating. That was... You were so excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> he was telling me he was so you were excited. so excited to tell He's us like, something. I had a you had to be morning, there. You man. have to understand, man. It you was sounded uh, like you did a lot. I of literally opened my, you know, like in the movies when like you open your eyes and it's like kind of it's blurry and then it what clears are you, Wally? up. What the the, <laughs> and it clears up and I just saw three men like this. They were like pinche chino, they chiquito like, chorizo, muy chiquito, rabiena sausage. <laughs> Un poquito. Uh, okay, that's you an interesting morning start. <laughs> How are you feeling, Wreck? I feel good, man. You know, we completed, I played Last of Us 2 on my stream. Last Finished of Us. That. That's the last of I want to hear about that. Should know Journey. And then, uh, <laughs> we should do a little Last of Us conversation. Yeah, we're going to do a Last of Us conversation. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it'll last yeah. too long. We'll do a little Last of Us <laughs> Okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Just and one I, word, though. I've been on keto. What? How do you feel? Of what, what beating the of game? Us? Yeah, I mean, just one word. We're not going to go too deep into wait, it. Wait, no spoilers, dude. Come on. There's people who game here. No like way. me. Well, first of all, we were going we were, we were to spoil. I'm just saying, how's your heart feel, bro? How's your heart feel, bro? Disjointed. Disjointed. Damn, that's it. <laughs> Continue, bro. <laughs> um, all right, is that it? That's it. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, let him. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on keto and it's uh, I feel like it's working a little bit. You know, you, you told me that uh, I saw you on the stream yesterday. I, I thought you were uh, looked a, a lot person. You man, you looked a little bit slimmer. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I d already saw like mad skinny comments already. I might do, you know, like every year just around the, around my birthday time. It's that seat, dude. If we switch, I would look skinny, too. No, that's the seat where you nah. look skinny. This one is close to the camera. Skinny legend, come on. Bro. First of all, when did we give a fuck so much about be looking skinny or double necks or whatever? Like, when did this happen? Come on, let's take a look at ourselves. Look at you. When did this happen? When did we be al allow the media to influence us? You're fucking right, dude. With our weight and our imagery? You're fucking when did right. we care? You're right, fat shaming is, is fucked up. When did we care? This isn't the Wreck and Rick I met. Fucking when that girl called in, Rick was like, yeah, but what about his neck? You remember that? You guys make fun of my neck all the time. There's a sideways vagina. You guys pick bad JPEGs for the thumbnails. That's when I started caring, bro, because I feel like it's a little ambush situation going on. Is it, is it wrong to care a little bit? It's not wrong to care, but what? it's... <laughs> what? But do you care... To wrong. <laughs> I think it's, I think I it's good to care a little bit because, you know, we, we see that it's something, the image that we don't want to see, mm. and we change it. No, I get that. I mean, there's health implications, too. Yeah, 100%. But is keto for health, or Ooh. do you want to look skinnier? Let's be real. Don't lie to me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at us. <laughs> I don't want to look at you guys. <laughs> Look at him closely. I feel, I feel good. I feel good. 
I, you know, there's the, nothing wrong with looking. You know what it is? But, you know what it is too? It, it's it's time management. I, you know, I just eat one meal a day. I bang it out. I don't even think about like, mm, what do I want to eat? I just go in there. I'm like, what's what's got fat in it? That's mm. got fat in it. That's got fat in it. A little butter, a little garlic. Bow. Why don't we do that with clothes? Like Steve Jobs did it. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. I'm wearing the same shorts I wore for the past two weeks, so I'm kind of on that wave. I do feel like we're cl- uh, just kind of <laughs> sticking to the clothing, <laughs> <laughs> the clothing uh, thing. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you should change your underwear every day? <laughs> okay, no, no, I'm not saying what? I'm not saying I don't. I do change my underwear. I change yeah, bro, it every time. You can't I say that. Wait, and why then... did you say it like that? Well, though? I'm just saying because just saying. it does feel. <laughs> 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 that sounded like I don't do it, but I do. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering if it is necessary. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Let me just let me just throw that out there. Right, mm. right. Is it necessary? I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's necessary. It depends okay. on moisture level, bro. But it depends on to... you know. It depends on no, what kind of activities. Everybody, you got. Yeah, everybody. No, every, no, every once in a while, mm-hmm. right? I'll be in the shower and then uh, I'll be in the bathroom after I take a shower, and then like you know, I forgot to bring uh, a, a pair of box briefs into the uh, bathroom with me. Yeah. Okay. And then like I have to walk out, and also I don't have a. I don't have a blinds from my window mm. and people can look inside so then i'm like do i want to walk out and then sometimes i'll just like you know i'll just i'll assess i'll be like hmm <laughs> i didn't really ex- extend myself yesterday. yeah right. I didn't, uh, <laughs> overexert myself that's the word someone right. brought up a lot of good points like saving water right for you for instance when you pee in a toilet mm. we don't need to be flushing it every fucking time dude you can go. You can flush it the second time around if you lay a number two, or That's you can true. add a second P for real. Like I'm just being real. Like, but if you forget to, flush, I've actually been doing that. I have. I don't. My house. Mm. I don't. I don't flush uh, the first P. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Why? All right. Okay. Is the P gonna stink up my house? Does I'm, it? I'm <laughs> it's, like, it's like do you, fam? <laughs> <Yeah. He's, laughs> <laughs> I, it's not even a cheap skate. I don't care about my water price or whatever. I just feel like, why do I need to? I Every don't, time I, don't I take a shower, I wash my underwear. You know what I mean? I go into the shower with my underwear on, take it off, and I do the laundry in there, bro. It's yeah. That that way it solves everything. You know the what I mean? The thing is, you know, I know he's joking, but also I don't know. I don't know. I don't no, know no, no, if he's no. joking. I'm honestly, it, it's like three birds with one stone. Clean underwear. Hand exercise, you got to wring it out. Everything has to be dry before you leave the <laughs> I like bathroom. I how you implemented a hand you exercise. Gotta, yeah, I'm with telling it. you, you got to, you got to. Mm. I can actually see you doing that. Yeah, yeah. like you squatted in your, your like your uh, Asian kimchi squat. I have lever two thousand for my body and face, and I have Irish spring for my boxes, bro. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I, I, mm. you took it to another level after I suggested. It's about activities that you've done that day. If you've done nothing, you just sat around, watch Netflix, you know, yeah. you could wear the boxes for three, four. I days. just yeah, I, I'm just saying these things because I do five, think six. we need to start thinking about these things. Even if it's not normal or natural, mm-hmm. we should maybe start thinking about these things. Thinking about what? If Little yeah. contributions Wait, you, you could so make to the planet. Do you guys uh, mm. uh, how many times do you guys wear your clothes, like your T-shirts and stuff? Oh yeah, you like that. That's a good point. More than that, okay, more than underwear and socks, because obviously those get really dirty or whatever. Mm. Shirts and pants, I will wear the shit out of those before I wash them. I'll tell you that. What, I shouldn't use Jeez. the word shit. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry. It sounded you got like shit on your pants until I actually <laughs> shit in my pants. <laughs> then that no no no. What I meant by that is that I will wear it a lot before I need to wash it because I don't feel like. First of all, I'm not like a musty, like I don't sweat crazy and shit like that. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? So I have a. You smell. You st- you, you always say I smell, bro. You sweat a lot. Not until you yeah, smell. Yeah, you did. Remember when you laid on my bed that one time and just like, Rick, you leave. Oh, no. You said don't lay on my bed because you leave a stink. You said that. Uh, did I say that? Yeah. Damn. It's garlic, dude. It's Someone a little says bit of garlic. jeans you can wear up to three days. Jeans? I wear up to fucking months. Yeah, what do you mean three days? Three days? Oh, I, fuck? I haven't washed one pair for since I bought it. Je- jeans get ruined when you wash them low key. I yeah. like to, you know what I'm saying? You might as well get a yeah, new pair at that point. I don't have any pants that doesn't have a drawstring in it. That's a problem, man. I need to switch it up. I need to buy some jeans. <laughs> how I many? Like, how, like that's your criteria. That's it has to have yeah, drawstrings. Yeah, like, can I adjust this? <laughs> <laughs> you go to the store. Like, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> one hundred one, man. One hundred one. How many pairs of jeans should a man own? <laughs> just by default. Who, Give a fuck. Whoa, come on. I just bought yeah. two pairs today. 
First of all, you got to get out of this mentality how what a man can I'm just do. Asking for help. I'm, not, I'm asking for help. That's what I'm saying. I just don't know. I don't have any genes. I don't have any of that. I, I grew them, left them in Virginia. So right now I just have like Taekwondo pants. You can and wear a dress if you want, to be honest. You should wear a dress. I think you would look fire in a dress. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> nah, because like, you know, like you Lord look like a dude who would me. wear a kilt like in Scotland yeah, or something. You wear a, like well, a okay, give me skirt. why do I look like someone who'd wear a kilt? You're built like a yeah. bagpipe. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I don't know. Dude. No, I just mean like, why not? We did watch that. We did watch the Highland Games thing. I did. And you know what? When I was, <laughs> yeah. And those are some of the manliest men I've mm-hmm. ever seen in my life. And then I saw that. And then I looked at you. I'm not gonna lie. That's mm. what happened. I I looked at it, that and I looked at you and I was, that's what I was thinking. You talking about Home Game, the, the episode of Home Game? Yeah, 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 yeah. On yeah. Netflix. Yeah, and then the oh, did you guys buy me a kill. I'll try it out. Throws and shit. They look like like Rick Shapiro. Yeah, and they look tough. You know mm. what I'm saying? Kilt. Like they look tough, bro. You should wear a kilt, bro. Yeah, I'm, I, I mean, yo, I'm over. Hey. I'll, I'll I'll try everything once. You know what I mean? Yo, wear a skirt, dude. Nah, dude, come on, dude. Now you now you're being disrespectful. I wear a skirt. I'm gonna fuck. If I were to kill, would you wear the skirt? Yeah, <laughs> we could do it for a whole day. I think you know. Here's the thing. It's like a oh. kilt must be super <laughs> comfortable though. It's bro. funny that people like try to make fun of dudes who like wear dress like you know Young Thug did that cover. Mm-hmm. You know all these fools are like called a gay or whatever, but. They're nervous to even put on item of clothing and just be seen with it. Like they're terrified of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but why does it? It's man- like, but that's the funniest thing to me. It's like you're scared. You're calling this guy a pussy, but like he doesn't give a fuck about what people say. You know, right. it's like I don't know. He well, seems kind of mixed up. That's not stray too much. It is normal for Jesus a person. wore a dress, dude. He would never wore a dress. That's man. a dress. That's what, not because it's not tailored? Nah, it's a robe because it's not tailored? <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, let's just say. That's he a had dr- armholes That's in the a joints. dress without Wait. drawstrings. Come on, dude. You're, <laughs> you're, just, you're just wearing a dress with drawstrings. <laughs> you're being really, really out of line I'm right just now, saying. Bro. Why, why is, am I being offensive saying Jesus wore a dress? Why is that offensive, first of all? I don't, know. I don't yeah. think it's offensive. It's not offensive. Uh I don't want to stray too much away from this frugal idea. <laughs> who gives a fuck who wears what? <laughs> Go ahead. What? Um, <laughs> you guys watched that episode of Extreme Cheapskates where that Asian lady. Oh, uh, poo. Is that the one? The yeah. toilet paper joint, right? Yeah, I guess. This shit's already grossing thing. me out. She dumps about it. She, okay, so it's this a- Asian lady, right? She uh, uh, was like a. Like during like a dot com crash, mm. she like got traumatized or some shit. So she became extremely, extremely, extremely cheap. Mm. <clears throat> she she like doesn't use toilet paper or she uses any tissue. She yeah. like r- rings it out and uses Ugh. it again. She when she takes a shit, she only uses soap. Oh. Um, wait 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 wait. She has a hang. <clears throat> she dumpster dives. She doesn't buy food. She goes. She has a shit rag. <clears throat> she just use soap. No rag. <laughs> just hand. Yeah. That's actually the most effective way to be honest <clears throat> with you. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it's like just she doesn't spend zero money, but she has a good job though. Right. So she's stacking. It's not she's poor. She's got she's got money. That's so weird. And it, and low key, shit was kind of arousing <laughs> to watch. You know what I'm saying? Like I was what like, yeah, she could really save, dude. <laughs> I did not expect yeah, yeah, that yeah. to be the ending of watching this episode, being you aroused see, you by it. see it, man. She, uh, what aroused you? Saving the money or, like, her habits? Just all of it, man. The dedication, I think. <laughs> yeah, like, That's the way she crazy. was eating, like, chicken out the garbage. Ugh. But knowing she's she's got money, though. Okay, have you, ever, have you ever taken a shit, you run out of toilet paper, so you hop in the shower? <clears throat> I have a bidet, sir. Oh, you do have a... You said that like, good day, sir, but I have a bidet, sir. Yeah. When's the last time you shit your pants? Uh, I don't think, not too long ago, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, okay. It was I can honestly vouch for that. Uh, I don't know how I'm vouching for it. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, so there was this one time we got an argument over this. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you're not going to do it. <laughs> no, no, no. So uh, we were in my ride heading back home. Ooh. And he's like, yo, could you pull over? Like, I really got a shit. Yeah. I was like, come on, man. Just holding the shit. Like, we're almost, <laughs> we're almost hold on, there. Hold on. Were you guys in traffic? Or was there options for you to pull over for a bathroom? There were options. You're a but fucking But I was ass. just like. Yeah. And, and, what? You, you know, and, and you know what? That wasn't even the first stop. I thought he was going to go one place. And he's like, all right, cool. I still got to take a shit. Let's go home now. He's like, out of nowhere, 
without telling me, he's like, I'm, I think we're gonna go to my mom's house, <laughs> bro. <laughs> and go when, hang out. When another man asks someone. Can you stop for a shit? That's the most vulnerable. We gotta know. We gotta have a really that's big. We gotta say that's the most like no one wants that's to. Guy code, no one wants. That's guy code. Code, and everything. for you to he code. made the face too. He's like, <laughs> he's like no, no. We got in a big fight over it. <laughs> Do you remember this? What happened? Yeah. Is that that Jolly Bee? I dropped Come you on, off. G. Wait, was I there? No. No. Oh, okay, no. You shit your pants at a so Jolly Bee? I, sh- I shit my pants. No, no, no. Okay, so I was almost <laughs> made it to jo- the. I went to Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee. I almost made it, but then there was one person just. Fucking, the, it was packed first of all, mm. and then there's one path to go to the bathroom, and one person was just walking so fucking slow. <laughs> right, right, I guess right, they right. ate too much spaghetti, mm-hmm. chicken joy, <laughs> and then I fucking, I was like, ah, and then I fucking finally got to it, and then as I was pulling my pants down, I splattered it. A little oh, bit. you missed it by a millisecond? Yeah, dude. It's always like that. Uh, I know. I don't know. It's what always that. like that. It's always like you think you're gonna make it, and then you make the biggest mess right at the ring. Dude. Your ball, butthole's like, <laughs> but dude, hey, we should just chill. We're Champion pan shitter. Let me just tell you the <laughs> walk. The walk. So, okay, when you were at Jollibee's, right, and you couldn't hold it, how was your walk? Did you do the slow, like, let me not apply any pressure so it's not going to come out? Or did you do a regular? What was your walk looking like? I do a mix of both. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, depending on feelings, I do the no pressure, and then I feel like, oh, maybe I got a little bit of leeway. Let me no, tell well, hold on. Can I just add to this real quick? Of course. Um, Have you shit your pants recently? Uh, no, not recently. No. Then what do you have to add well, to this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? No, 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 no. I want to add hey, one no thing. No pun intended, but butt yeah, out. Bro. one thing. I just want to add. <laughs> I, but out. That's the problem. <laughs> now, I want to add one thing. Is when I have to take a shit, we're getting close to the bathroom. To right. me, the issue is not your butthole like loosening up and then the shit coming out. Mm-hmm. Isn't it the stomach issue? Like you know. Your stomach gets all churned and ready to go, or I is it the butthole issue? Does somehow does your butthole get more nah, relaxed? It's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. It's a mental thing. It's a mental thing. So back in the day when I used to come back home from school, every time I got off the bus, without fail, I had to take a shit. You know, so and to walk to my house is like a good ten minute walk. And this is how I know it's a mental thing. The closer you get to the house, you're mentally thinking, oh, there's a porcelain seat for me to sit down in a right. little bit, so I get to loosen up a little bit, right? But then this happened, like, by the time I was at my front door, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a shit in, like, 15 seconds. It's going to be victorious. And then I forgot that I didn't have the key, so I had to clench up again. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. And that yeah, clench, yeah. that's when you know if you're a real man or not, bro. <laughs> that's when you know if you're a real man or not. That's when you know what you're made that of. Clench, that first that clench. That clench. It's like, it's that clench of knowing that, like, oh, I'm going to let go. I'm going to be, because you're already, like, thinking about it. You're like, oh, this is going to be great. What what Garfield am I going to read, you know? Yeah. And then the door's locked. <laughs> what so Garfield no am access. I going to read? Bro, anyway, right. <laughs> Back to the walk, right? Here's a foolproof. What Garfield I want to read? Yeah. You didn't have the, anyway. Yo, you didn't, when you walk, when you need to take a shit, I'll give you a foolproof walk and you'll never shit your pants ever again. Toe to toe, bro. Damn. Toe to heel like this. Mm. Wait, you, can I, can you I connect? The, the, For the a person your who pants. doesn't shit his pants, you have a lot to say I right do now. Have a lot to, I mean, first of all, I've, I've, I've been there, bro. I know, I know my sh- you know, I'm retired, but mm. uh, <laughs> when you shit your pants, is it usually a diarrhea situation or solid shits? It's usually diarrhea, right? Explosive mm-hmm. diarrhea. Uh, when you shit in your pants, even solid poop will look liquefied in your pants no but it's more of a diarrhea Listen situation <laughs> yeah, and why I is mean, it why is your, your butthole is why less con- <laughs> why is less controllable when it's a um diarrhea situation how do why does it loosen up i love it how we did this right at lunchtime <laughs> <laughs> this podcast started at lunchtime but we'll say it again why is it when you have a diarrhea situation mm. that it's is it because it's liquid it's Obviously, harder to contain like, you know, is that what it is yeah, you realize oh, how okay, stupid that okay. question was while you were asking it right yeah, yeah, yeah that was a little bit the intestines the physical like the solid joints are not going to be able to be pushed out easily. so your butthole really isn't that tight you have yo, if it yo, was like yo. airtight then mm. it would not yeah there's a limit to how many buttholes you can say right? <laughs> but no you know so, something about me is uh <laughs> I, I i don't like to take a shit like, I, like when i feel it mm. I have to go immediately. Like, my body is, like, it just, I'm designed to just fucking go. When I, when I have to go, I go. Mm. I don't go to the bathroom and sit on the toilet for, like, an hour or two. I ah, sit, no. I, hit I and run. Like hit and fattest, run. Hit and run. I take, like, the fastest shits you ever, you ever I, I know. seen, right? <laughs> I know. I got the fastest shits <laughs> in the West. <laughs> <laughs> Draw! <laughs> <laughs> They call me Shits McGee. <laughs> you don't want to play with me, boy. 
We all had our breakfast today, huh? <laughs> Bidet to you, sir. <laughs> 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 Damn. Uh, but yo, yeah, it's great. I think, I, and also on keto though, you know what's weird about keto? Well, I've done, I've done like the vegan diet too. Yeah. And that's made my shit very like watery, <laughs> right? And like soft. Oh god. The what? The what? Like uh, like a vegan diet. I, mm. I've done the vegan before, and then, I, I you know during keto, my shit is more like dry mm. and hard. Sometimes it feels like I'm pushing out a baby, dude. Really? <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, like I could feel the, the shit in the the, the, the the hall of my asshole just mm. like climbing out. <laughs> <laughs> grabbing onto the yeah, walls. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Walls, yeah, yeah. Is that that crash? <laughs> and like. On the third oh day, God. his shit yeah, resurrected. It, it, hurt. it hurt sometimes. But right? I heard that like strong, like rabbit pellet looking shit is the healthiest mm. shit, right? The less liquidy your poop is, the more healthy your poop is supposed yeah. to be. So, yeah, that's good, man. You're doing a good job. I might really... You going to try keto? Yeah. I mean, I, I know you guys are tired of me saying this. <laughs> Someone's at the door, I believe. No, they're not. I, I okay. They didn't knock. They didn't I heard a knock. They didn't knock. How much you want to bet? What? That there was a knock. Was there a knock? Oh, <clears throat> oh looks like we got a package of some sort, huh? Oh, bidets. No, okay. <laughs> How did they know? <laughs> Sup, Drew? Chat. You could act the chat. You could act Somebody. like you don't like this conversation, but you know you're grateful for it. <laughs> oh, we got some shoe situations Whoa. here. Wow. Okay. For us? Maybe we'll we'll figure that out later. Ooh. Um, but yeah, we we fucking stretched the shit out of that. Not butthole, but the shit conversation. <laughs> stretched the shit out of that shit. Uh, <laughs> 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 Let's read this health line. We have a uh, Tony pulled up a little thing here. The urge to poop. When your rectum, a tube-shaped organ at the end of your colon, fills with poop, it stretches. It stretches. You'll feel this as an urge to have a bowel movement. To hold it in, the muscles around the rectum will, will mm. tighten. Regularly ignoring the urge to poop can lead to constipation. Constipation mm. defined as fewer than three bowel movements per week. You may also strain when do you have a bowel movement and pass hard. Dry stools. Damn. Mm. I don't like dry poops. Dry poops hurt. Those are the worst, right? You know yeah, why, too? Hurt. It's like when you wipe, you don't feel the satisfaction, dude. You're like, wait, what happened? I got oh, robbed. Oh, like there's no stain. There's nothing. I, kinda, I do get the satisfaction of when it's a clean swipe. Do you? You don't, you don't get that satisfaction nah, when you don't have dude. a mess? Nah, you, you, you need that Samsung, bro. It's like perfect score. Like, you know, it feels like <laughs> that. <laughs> whatever. All right, whatever. Um, bidet experience. I want to talk about that a little bit. Okay. <laughs> you've been pra- you've been talking about this. You've been <clears throat> promoting this thing forever. It's my, it's my dream to sell bidets. Yeah, explain this fa- infatuation with bidets. Oh, I just think that bidets could be like the next Beats by Dre. Mm. You know, like Beats by Dre, like nobody was willing to pay three hundred dollars for uh, headphones. Yeah, mm. and then it became a thing where yeah. everybody needed to have them. I gotta have them. I gotta have them. Beats by Dre. Everyone's gonna. But want you're talking bidets. about branding it properly because there are bidets <clears throat> on the market. There are bidets. There are, you there know, are good days. You know, there are bidets. You know, there are bidets. You know, in there are Asia, bidets. Days, there <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, in Europe, they have the bidets, you know, back, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Could you explain to what a bidet is, actually, Let's before we go okay. into it? Let's uh, for those, those who don't know who, what a bidet is, it's uh, basically squirting water up your asshole after you take a shit. And, you know, I don't, I don't, I wipe too with toilet paper, and then I get. I know, I know. An extra cleanse. It feels great. It's, it's like, an actual better way. Sanit- it's way more sanitary. I mean, like, yo, yeah. it's, it's, it's. Wiping your asshole is like having poop on your arm and just wiping that and calling it a day. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Shit in your butthole, you know. But let's but, not, uh, let's Tony. See. Can you get this ghoul images of toilets out of our face <laughs> real quick? <laughs> <laughs> but in Asia, the, in Asia, they've, haunted toilets. They've perfected it where it's like, you know, you could get you could cop a a bidet with like heated seats. Yeah. With the with the squirt or or would would you like pulse action, a oh, massage? Are you serious? Yeah, and then there's. There's after after the whole experience. There's mm. a there's a fa- you could fan dry your asshole, you know, and it's just it's just a very uh, luxurious experience. Imagine, you know, you, you should invest if you're gonna take a shit every day. It's like uh, you know, invest in that. Get a bidet. Oh, look at this. The origins <laughs> of the bidet. I don't need that. Uh, Are you sure you don't want to know the history? I just feel like you don't want to know the history of what you're promoting here. Come on. Just see where it's from. I know the history. All right, let's like, give us the history real quick. It's from France, <laughs> let's huh? Let's see. Man, I walk with those dudes, yeah. 
<laughs> I didn't design it for me. Listen, uh, people like bidets because it feels like they're getting their butt ate out, bro. Let's be honest. There's a little bit. What? There's a little what? bit. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa. You're turning it into Whoa. a whole nother thing. Uh, Do you think so? I'm just speaking the truth, bro. Uh, no, fool. People like the cleanliness no, of it. Like I used the a bidet. Sexual feeling. You kind of get a sexual feeling when you get that water hitting your. You know, no, I don't. I don't sit there and go. Ugh. <laughs> I sit there and I get squirted. And I'm like, all right, hell yeah, I'm fucking clean. <clears throat> yeah, I guess. And that's why I don't have to change my fucking uh, drawers every day. Oh, I do though, but I don't have to. Okay, and and uh, anyway. There, there are a lot of bidets on the market, especially in America, where they're, they're doing the $30 ones. Mm -hmm. But does not it offer you the real experience, the, yeah. the luxury, the glamour. I, I, I will say you, after you take a shit and then you splash the water to clean your butthole. Yeah. And then you I, you still wipe. At, I, I, I get the toilet paper and wipe, and mm -hmm. it's so cl much cleaner. 100%. Like, yeah. so much cleaner. Uh, it is more sanitary. It's actually really effective too. It, it like aims right at the butthole like a carnival game with well, the you balloon. Can, well, you, the can, <laughs> you can aim it too. There's there's uh you know a tr uh, controls. See, oh, so you're adjusting it to your butthole. Ear, ear. I don't know, man. And there's a front side you can toggle that. I mean, it's a it's a very implemented technology in certain countries too. You know, I just I just think I'm like I have PTSD with the bidet because I went to like one of my rich aunt's mm -hmm. house when I was really young and I thought it was a water fountain. <laughs> drank out of it you know i don't think it's necessary to be honest with you just get yourself a little like wet towels a little bit of tissue and you'll be good man you don't need a whole nother mechanism so your that, move man. is to lean over to the sink wet the paper wet, wet the toilet paper we've all done that right no no my my uh <laughs> Wait, <what>? technique is <laughs> like you're sitting on the toilet wrap the toilet you know if yeah, you yeah, want to get some you water get on it you lean over to the sink. <laughs> oh, oh, this is what I do. Okay. You got to put your okay, foot guys, on your all right, sink. All right. Let me break this down for you guys. Let's Everybody go. who's afraid of using uh, public restrooms, mm -hmm. just grab the paper towels, dude. When you want to wipe, yo, when you wipe with fuck, you wet your, uh, the tissue, toilet paper. Come on. It's too fucking. Too thin. Too, too thin. thin. Too, yeah. Just, yo, and also, if you have a hairy asshole, mm. which a lot of guys do, <laughs> okay? <laughs> The fucking toilet papers can get all in there. Little right. dingleberries and shit. Right, right, you know right, saying? right. Yeah, so get get a fucking, you know, um, paper towel that'll mm -hmm. fucking uh, weather the storm. Hold it. Yeah. You see, yeah. people don't talk about that enough. <laughs> The hairy We buttholes. talk about what people don't want to talk exactly, about. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. People don't. That's a good point you, you just made, Rec. They're, the hairy butthole is like every dude has a hairy butthole. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not all women have that necessarily. I, I, I could be mistaken. It's Some women, book right it could be a very common uh, thing. Too. But yeah. in general, when you're wiping your ass, you're dealing with the hairy butthole, which adds another layer of unsanitariness. <laughs> you got you to gotta really get that yeah, clean. Yeah, that poop is going to cling on. You can handle those, that. Just uh, take a lint remover. Anyway, yeah, go ahead. A, a lint remover? Yeah, like for the hair. Yeah, so you know. you're not going to do a bidet, but you're going to put a lint remover in your butt. <laughs> if you want to wax your butt real quick, you know, you just go. No, no, I don't know. I'll show you. It's not strong enough. Come on, bro. No, you come on. <laughs> I'll try the bidet. You know, out of respect, I didn't use your bidet. You can't share another man's bidet, yeah, right? Yeah, you can. Nah, dude. You <laughs> cannot share. You can what do you mean, like bidet? transport the bidet? No, 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 I'm saying you can oh, use. Right. You can oh, yeah, use yeah, 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 you can, fool. No, 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 it's no, not no. touching your. What do you? Do there's, you understand how a bidet works in your head right now? <laughs> are you understanding how a bidet works? There are bidets in public restrooms in Korea. Jeez, man, bro, the, it doesn't affect how dirty it the, gets, the, bro. The, the water, water, the water. Look at Tony. <laughs> Get a camera. Yeah, go ahead. No, no. Uh, uh, Explain the birds and the bees <laughs> to us. <laughs> the the water spout gets pulled out. <laughs> When uh, it shoots the water, and then when it's not shooting out the water, it gets covered yeah, up. Yeah, it's like. Why are you explaining? <laughs> <laughs> if the volume was off, it's just like explaining how we get ass fucked. <laughs> 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 no, it's like the yeah, it's like the uh, you know the alien alien movie where mm. the the mouth comes out, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah that, just like that. What it is. Pretty advanced. It's a very advanced. This is the technology that we're being deprived of in America, and I'm here <laughs> to bring that change. Imagine Bernie Sanders was up there like, this is what we're getting deprived of. The top 1% has bidets, and we got to expend it to everybody. <laughs> I, will, I will create bidet company, all right? And mm. I want you all to join me. It's going to be called Lily Pad because you're sitting on water. Oh. Whoa. Let That's me add. Okay, so 
I've always I've always told you this. If once I have like a good amount of finance situated, I do want to invest in like idea from because I always thought you had great ideas. Okay, this is this an one. idea? <laughs> yeah, worth investing in. Yes, it is. I want to know, but like realistically, from already, the chat have, right now, from what chat? investors, what would be the price range? Uh, from the chat, put in one if you think this is a good investment. Put in two if you think it's not a good investment. All right. I'm I'm gonna do. Um, Chat is confused. I'm gonna I'm gonna charge anywhere from five hundred mm. to fifteen hundred. Okay, 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 okay. So these are good, high quality. Well, pizza. It, it's it's gonna be high quality. It's gonna I have know all the fucking fixings, dude. I also know some of the other bidet uh, companies, by the way. Get your hand out. <laughs> <laughs> what makes your product? <laughs> Welcome to the toilet tank. <laughs> All right. uh, no, no. Um, That's cool, man. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of half and half on it. I don't know if it's going to be some because people like, oh, let me bring this up. I just thought. Stop something. pointing at <laughs> me, bro. <laughs> you just trying to dodge the point. <laughs> um, people just stocked up mad on toilet paper as soon as the COVID thing happened. I've stopped using COVID toilet paper since. I'm just saying, COVID happened, and the first thing people bought was packs and packs of toilet paper. Yeah, they you're just right. Bought a that bidet. would definitely eliminate the situation. Would they do situation. that though? I don't know. Because see, people worry that's, about that's, water supply too. See, just the thing, we gotta change. You know that's true. People worry about water supply, which but you're not even on. like flushing a pee, and we're using extra water to wash our ass. You know, it's like kind of counterproductive. Right. I'm not against a bidet. I'm with it. I'm with it. Would you consider it to be a, a more of a, a upper class kind of item? It's a preference. <clears throat> I, Economic I, status kind of item. You know, people spend a lot of money on, on things that they need. Mm. Okay. If you f- feel like you need this thing, you're going to find a way to purchase it. All right. It's the worst sale. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> like, like I said. Like if I you said, need it, get it. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, Beats by Dre. Right? <laughs> Why do you, it's not the same thing. No, it is because people were before that people were very happy to have twenty dollar earphones. Mm. Be, yeah, there's a candy, cool factor, but there's a cool factor. Yeah, we're gonna make. But they, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> make it. But they's a cool factor. It's, it's gonna a, cool your asshole after you fucking wipe it. Uh, but it's not cool like beats. Like you're like you know like yeah I'm cool. But like and there's artists endorsing. Yeah, it, I'm like, gonna have. Fucking celebrities sitting on toilet mm. and you know rapping. Yeah, that. I believe in you. Right, well, I gonna... actually believe in the bidet because if you think about it, <laughs> you clean yourself with dry tissue. You can do <laughs> as many rounds as you want, and then you take a wet tissue. There's a little remnant. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So that moisture I, I, I is very think, necessary. I just think that you know, uh, once people try it, it's hard going back. Mm. Yeah, it's hard going back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. How about point of no return? That's what I call PON. They're pretty. They're, uh, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a bidet. I'm gonna order a bidet today. <laughs> no, don't don't buy it today. I Yo, will, you know what? I, I double down. I'm gonna buy a bidet today too. <laughs> you, are you, I'm gonna do it. No, don't buy it yet. Let me. Can we go on? Can you go on Amazon real quick and see what, what we got? Get two. We got we got some uh, bidet facts. Put a. Uh, uh, Put uh, Amazon on real quick. Let me oh, see the bidets on Amazon. You know what is a game changer in the bathroom though? That little stool. Do you know what I'm talking about? The, the little step up for your toilet? <laughs> yeah. Come on, Jay. <laughs> that makes you realign your body so the poop comes out. Mm-hmm. It's like Tell having me, a put cigarette it, put it in Put it the visuals, too, <clears throat> just r- real quick. Yeah, let's see this bidet situation. These are the ones on the market right now. I'm just trying to have you take a look at your competition real quick. Finally, man, some good uh, topics. There's to talk hot about. new releases. <laughs> well, 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 my, well, These my, are the hottest ones <laughs> trending right now. <laughs> They're pretty cheap. You're talking about five hundred dollars. Look at Damn. these, fool. Yeah, these aren't the high quality. Go, go bidets. up. This go is up. Not the experience Tony. that you want. Nah, you know what? I don't want the addition to the my. I don't want the addition to my toilet. I want a whole another joint. No, you want to add it. You want to add. It's it's a seat, and it's easy to install. I did it. Uh, did you put in uh, what? What is this? Sir? Oh, like this looks like a simple one. That looked like a simple one, right? That shit looks like a timer mm. next to my. Just get the Koei one. Koei. Koei bidet. All right. Or you can even go. I want the one that talks to me when Ooh. I sit down. Okay, so these are pretty legit. Ooh. This this is a nice one. Ooh. You know, you know I might have to cop this, this joint right here, bro. Heat Look at the seat. 
You get ESPN on this shit or what? Water. <laughs> you got you the, only get M- you got MS- the blow dryer. You get HBO Max on blow this dryer. Bitch. See, you only get NBC, dude. I know what's Do going you, on here, dude. You know, you haven't used the blow dryer, like the drying of the. I have, I have one. Oh, you, you have, have a blow dryer on your bidet too? Yes. I I'm and you don't own a real blow dryer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I own one a for blow dryer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It looks. It look, I, I don't mind it. It's like a little addition. Oh yeah, I let's watch the video. Here we go. I am a strong believer in the bidet. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit! Look at this. <laughs> it's like a car commercial. Go back, go back. Bidet Vega. My color. We revolutionized the asshole. <laughs> and it goes in your ass. Oh shit! The graphics are kind of fire for this. Ooh, four stage water stream. This is the one Rick wants. That's the one, that's the one Rick likes. No, 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 I don't Rick want that. Rick likes I'm the just, level I'm four. Suspecting. You like the level four, Rick. I mean, if I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna go four for sure. <laughs> Can you heat it though? Yo, Can you that's heat the water? crazy technology. I want bro. scalding water. Can you take selfies with it? <laughs> <laughs> Can you take butt off? <laughs> Come with the ox. Seething wash mode. Female wash mode. Mm. Look at the wash modes. This ain't even the best one on the market. <laughs> <laughs> See, yo, that's too crazy right there, man. Is it worth? Okay, is it worth me copping, dropping three hundred for it? this? This shit, this shit, is worth your money though. Like, you'll save money over time. Instead of spending like a shit ton of money on, yeah, that. but and, I feel like I would yo, still a lot of use people, a toilet. A lot no, of people, you'll use toilet paper, but not as much. <laughs> right, you know, right, and, right. Uh, and yeah, that, and you know, uh, you won't clog up your toilet. Yeah, a lot of people Wait, also for real? use the wet wipes. Wet wipes are very uh, they're bad popular. You know, yeah, you use wet wipes. Yeah, yeah. I think I I you know and what I could but they're see, not good for I your pipes. Yeah. Is it hard to install? No. I'm kind of worried about that. You just you, you just take off your uh, toilet seat and then you put that and then you screw it in. That's yeah. it. And then you just where does the hook water up? come from? Oh, you just um you hook it up. You, they yeah. give you tubes and you hook it up through uh, your sink. This is already you see I, that's no, already no, no, turning no, no. me it's off. It's easy as fuck. That's already turning me listen, off. The listen, multiple tubes and the water line. I don't I don't want to. I can install it for you. <laughs> <laughs> nice but it's so, it's easy enough that Rec he, never offers to install know, anything, anything for me ever. but he's like i will install this one I thing for you chair. he comes with a two belt okay listen i bought one for my mom as well all right you did. spent about a thousand something dollars bought my mom a bidet and uh she managed to install it herself okay wow. my mom is not handy man all right, she you could do have, it though. Yeah, I mean, I think you should get it so I could try it out too. You could try it at <laughs> my house. You know what I mean? You could try all, it out. Why don't we all go to my crib after and just all take a shit, <laughs> all in a line? I'm not gonna lie, I could take a shit if I wanted to right now. Definitely. But anyway, the the best bidet. <laughs> don't buy a bidet yet. Wait for the lily pad bidet. The okay? lily pad bidet. It's coming. It's coming. Who, how are you gonna get those made? I don't get it. Like you're gonna partner up with like a company I'll probably, already? I probably partner up. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm sure not gonna go. Never f- done artist collaborations, but I want to be the first. That's why I'm a pioneer. Oh shit! Pioneer, I mean, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> he is a pioneer. Let's go. I'm poo in your ear, bro. <clears throat> um, go away, X Rex Dizzy. Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay. So um, let's let's change the shit. subject. We kind of stretched this out a lot. Uh. Where should we go with this conversation? Where do we go from here? Heel to toe, though. Don't forget. Okay. Oh, another thing. Uh, you're supposed to poo properly by putting your feet on, like, a step stool. Do you know this thing? Yes. <laughs> do you know about this proper... You can pull this up, actually. It goes poo- right back to shitting. <laughs> you can pull it up. Uh, but uh, just... There's a we, step I, stool. I, we've, we've all seen the... We've all seen the ad. Not everyone knows this thing. Uh, you you literally to, took this... Talk to another level. This right is now. important because it positions your body properly where it lets all your stool out. Do I not have a voice? Do you know about this? Yes. I was talking about I was this. talking about it like nine Oh, minutes you did? Mm-hmm. I, I forgot. I didn't hear you say I forgot it. I existed. Yeah, no, that, that changes the game. Does it really? That changes the game. Yeah, Can that's you like having feel a, your poo coming out differently when literally. you have that? <laughs> That makes it smoother than a parliament, bro. She looks Seriously. like she's going to shit her pants if she just if she poos like that. Yeah, yeah. 
That's how we poop in Animal Crossing. Honestly, when I first <laughs> saw that, I was like, yo, that's just a piece of plastic. You know, it's not worth it. But then I went to a friend's house who had it, and I tried it. Baliba! Really? So invest in the stool, invest in the bidet. 100%. Much better than the bidet. <clears throat> it's funny that I'll we don't... I'll be coming out with a whole line of bathroom products. I'll be coming out. slippers. Wow. Whoa. Bath towels. Nice. So that when you come out and you're naked and afraid and cold and wet, <laughs> you will be comforted by a frog <laughs> around you. <laughs> That's and beautiful. The, this, towel, this is the all towels is always a good merch item, to be <clears throat> honest. Yeah, this, towels? Is all, this has all been in stewing in my, uh, in my mind and brain. That's good. Lily That's pad good. products. Is the mind and brain in the same area? The brain is here. Mm. Where's our soul? <laughs> That's on, true. Man. Soul is, is interesting because everyone assumes it's like right mm. here in our chest. But where exactly? <laughs> the yeah. soul is right behind your eyes. Like right. That's here. what that's what you think the soul where the soul is. I know it's there. The soul is right. <laughs> be, it's, you know that's why when you. Why do you hide your hide with a sunglass all the time? Then are you trying to hide your soul? Or? No, 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 not at all, not at all, not at all. It's just too bright, you know. But when you kill somebody, that's how you see their soul leaving them. You know what I'm saying? Because it just. Interesting. Yeah, soul's right behind your eyes. <laughs> How, how many people have you looked in their eyes as they died? <laughs> <laughs> now, this is getting scary now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think you're revealing a little too much. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. Implicate this is all. common knowledge. <clears throat> well, everybody, please take care of yourselves. Make sure your insides are well. Um, you got to let all the toxins out to mm. let good things <laughs> inside your body. Yeah. We've talked about the stuff that's leaving your body. Let's talk about the stuff you're putting into it. Ooh. Juice, part two. <laughs> <laughs> Come juice, over, please. Part two. <laughs> I mean, we could talk about all of it. It's not just food or nutrients, Let me ask but you the like question. the information and everything. Do you think you're putting in healthy information? A and a a everything you're putting into your body, too. So, <clears throat> mm, well, like conspiracies? Mm, food, that could be unhealthy. <laughs> okay. mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's talk That's about a good question. Healthy. That's huh? a good question. And how do you poo out the information? <laughs> Obviously, we're pulling out the physical health stuff. Mm -hmm. How do we poo out negative information? You're so happy wow. about this. <laughs> 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 you're so God damn it! No song. can do this. <laughs> no, I, I'm just curious. Like, okay, that's a good. That's a good point. That's a right? very good point. So, how do you poo out um, toxins? Negative. Well, information. let's let's answer your first question yeah, first. You, you know, yeah. given the climate of the world right now, mm. the filtration process of our intake has become stronger for sure. Do you know what I'm saying? Stronger like, in what way? What as in, like, we're mindful about, like, what do I want to put it? Like, energies, positive energy, negative energy. Like, we're surrounded with such turmoil right now that a lot of people, they want to go the extra route to be conscious to allow positive energy to come into their life. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so hungry right now. You are? No, it's hard to go on. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> but it's just, you know, like, I think with food, with anything, everyone's just thinking about self-preservation. They're thinking about mental health. They're thinking about physical health, you know? So instead of just when the quarantine first started and everyone's locked down, it was out of desperation, people just eating ramen, you know, going crazy, drinking. Mm. But now that kind of subsided and it's about like, okay, how do we survive this long run? Right. You know, the Marathon. sprint became a... I like that, yeah. Marathon training. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> We're evolving. We're 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 adjusting to changes. Yeah, <clears throat> I think also you know maybe that was a product of me going to keto because right before that I was on a carb rampage. Mm. I was eating ramen every fucking day, mm. maybe two times a day, Damn, if I was that's lucky. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, it is yeah. delicious, but it's very unhealthy. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. And back to the thing about how you pull it out. We just need to learn how to digest properly, mm. no matter what mm. we put into our body. Meaning even if we think it's a negative information or if it's negative energy, it's our, it's our duty to let it go through the process. You know what I mean? Scientific method, if you will. Are you will. talking about as artists or as just anybody? I'm talking about as anybody, you know? I just feel like there's a surge. <clears throat> there's just like an oversaturation of everything right yeah. now. I, I feel like, oh, sorry, go ahead. I think that um, just like who we are mm. and everything we've gone through in our lives, mm like that's the i guess the digestive system right so like when you see anything if you see a celebrity 
you see that and then you, you might process it and be like fuck that dude because you're mm. maybe unhappy. Heather, I don't know. <clears throat> and you're jealous a little bit. That mm. is that that self unhappiness <clears throat> right? for sure. Or yeah. like you see somebody, you know, all happy the couple's walking and you're like and you're like, "Oh, that's fucking so beautiful and I love that because you have love in your life." You know mm. what I'm saying? And it's, it's just a projection and then it's like so I think people got to be mindful of that and one day and every every maybe every month yeah. Just reflect and be like, where am I in life? Am I happy? And is this the way I treat people? Is it is it a reflection of my own state or, you know, and then and then if you do realize that maybe it is and it's hindering you from being happy and looking at things in a positive life, then you can change that and then you can yeah. get back to being happy. Damn. And you um, have to flush it out of your body. I don't want to yeah. keep making these poo references, but mm. what we're doing right now <laughs> is we take all these shitty toxins uh, information and we just smear the shit on different people. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. We're not, we're not flushing it or clearing it out of our system. Yeah. Like there's yeah. not clearing out could mean like meditation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just clearing. Just think about how many smear campaigns there's right now. Like everyone, you know, cancel culture. <laughs> <laughs> oh poo God. here, poo That's what there. I'm saying for sure. But I mean, I definitely think it is a good question. How earlier you asking if keto is something that's health oriented or if it's just an aesthetic thing, right? And like to take it a little deeper, same thing with our digestion of information and all these things. There's a lot of people that are just trying to act nutritious just to look healthy. You know what I mean? To like feel woke or to feel um, better about themselves when they're not really nutritious inside. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? So there's an intent that you need they're to think doing about it for as well. The, they're doing it for the spiritual yeah, gram. Dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What? <laughs> They're doing it for the gram. They're doing it for the gram. In a sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a diet tea, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, dude. Uh, I, I, I would like to steer away from that. Mm. And just Fun with dump. <laughs> Shan said. Oh, my God. See, yo, you know what? Tim <laughs> Fushis. Of course, Tim Fushis would be like, that's facts, though. Yo, 100%. But, 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 thank you. But, yeah, really, though, you know, like, how do you guys process, like, bad things that happen in your life? Like, when I see something bad happen to me, Mm. Sometimes, like, it, it's funny to me because I, I all of a sudden, like, look at it from, like, an uh, outside perspective. And I see that it's funny. Like, one time, I was at a bus stop in New York, right? I was drunk and very, very, very cold. Mm. It was, like, 4 a.m. The buses aren't running on, you know, on a regular schedule. Um, it was so cold. I was looking at a CVS across the street. <clears throat> and then I was, and I was. This whole time I was waiting maybe 40 minutes in the cold waiting for the bus. I was like, fuck, that CVS looks warm. Right. Let me just go over there. But then if I leave the bus stop, I might miss the bus. So then, you know, obviously what happens is I go there. Oh, my God. And then I see the bus just zoom by. That's some Korean yeah. drama time, I, dude. I literally, like, I, a tear came in my eye. Mm -hmm. And then I started laughing my ass off. Maniacally. Like, like a maniacal laugh. Right, right, right. But it was, like, genuinely funny to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then... You know, a lot of times, you know, as artists, we see bad things that happen to us and we can just immediately like kind of compartmentalize it and then like turn that into fuel for, for art. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And But I don't think a lot of people have that uh, counter strike ability. They don't have it. Yeah, they don't have that, that outlet. That thing you just described, that feeling, you know, uh, you see it in movies, too, right? Yeah. Something just things just keep going bad at the end. You're just like, it's almost funny. Yeah. What is that feeling exactly? Like what? What would you how would you describe <laughs> that feeling? What is that? That laughter you have of that? This shitty day, and it's just like another one. It's like, and you laugh it off. Yeah, it's a pretty positive feeling, right? It's almost like you know what? Yeah, maybe universe it's, do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> like you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus not, take the wheel. Yeah, thing. you're just not gonna be mad anymore. Like yeah. what? What is? Is yeah. that what that feeling is? I don't think so. I don't know what is it. Or I don't think so. You know that? But it's it's crazy how you can have such a feeling and and it's like almost physical in a way you can let it go. Like yeah. there was one time I was so broke. That like I and I finally I had like a hundred bucks on me mm. and I was on the train, you know, uh, oh, no. uh, the seven train Grand Central, right? <clears throat> I, I fucking get on the train, oh, reach no. in my pocket, and then I was like, "Fuck, I lost it." Okay. And then I was I was like, I was like, um, in my mind for like five seconds, I was ready to like rage out, and then I was just like, you know what? I still have my limbs. I have yeah. my legs and arms right. and shit. And then I was like, you know, people care about me. 
you know did you really think that that was just next <clears throat> thought yeah and then wow. i just that's dope p- peaceful that's how and you know peaceful. what that's funny you just said that because my personal trainer told me that when you wake up every morning uh this is a practice that a lot of successful people do you wake up and you start listing thinking of uh all the like like a gratitude journal yeah listing the, all the things you're grateful for in the morning yeah. mm. and this is like a apparently like a big practice of like some of the top most successful people in the world mm-hmm. You just list out all the things you're grateful for, and your day is like there's like a lifted burden, and you just yeah. get through the day. Yeah, because it, it, it's like it's like almost food. Like you 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 get nourished, right? <clears throat> right, and then you know there's because there's people. It's two different ways to think about it. No matter how bad the situation is, yo, know, everybody, everybody here in this room, everybody in chat, everyone mm. can fucking name all these things that they hate that's mm. going on in their lives. Even if you're rich, and you're fucking the most powerful person. There's people that, like celebrities that they got commit their own suicide. Problems. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to dwell on the things that are bad? Or are you going to look at this side and be like, oh, at least I have Wi-Fi. Right. At least I got a piece of cheese in my refrigerator. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's little things. And by the way, when I say successful, I don't mean just like, oh, has a lot of money. I mean, has a lot of money and doing the things they love and like they're happy. Yeah, they're Clearly enjoy. happy. Like when you see somebody happy and like with money, like that's a beautiful thing. Beautiful with their family and yeah, shit. Like yeah. that looks successful. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. What doesn't look successful necessarily is like you're out there just, you know, uh, gramming it up. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Like no, you can wake you. up with someone giving you a fucking blow job and you could be like, oh, this again. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Not here, you man. It's I don't know. Much. Do blowjobs get old though? All right, just yeah. throwing that out there. I'm just giving an example. Okay. <laughs> I think that's good, man. The ability for you to pause time at that moment and be like, "This too shall pass" is a pretty is a pretty mature trait. You know what I mean? I don't think that <laughs> laugh is like automatic. You're taking it to a positive mode. Sometimes I laugh because to prevent from me going crazy. Do you know what I'm talking about? That looks kind of like crazy, a too, though. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you're right. I think maybe it's a mix of, like, a, a body it's like a, it's defense like a, mechanism. It's like, a, it's like your body's uh, uh, airbag. Mm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, something yeah. happens, and it poofs, and it softens it, and you're like, ha, ha, ha. Mm. But if that wasn't there, something drastic could have happened. Mm-hmm. Do you All know right. what I'm talking about? <clears throat> yeah. I, oh, go ahead. Keep but I, I do want to say, like, yeah, I, I think that this shit is something that uh, – Maybe it's not natural to most people, but mm. it, it's something that I think can be learned. Mm. Like, and once you do it once, you think back. So, like, I did that once, and I don't know what happened, why I did that. Mm. But now that I know that I can do it, I can do it in the future. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Um, I want to have everybody chime in on this. We are discussing toxins and how to release these toxins. Whether it's in the physical form, the yeah. spiritual form, or mental form. We on our shit today, dude. So uh, <laughs> we somehow <laughs> made it all work today. <laughs> that tie back was kind of yeah, fire. Yeah, tie back. We no. made it through. So everyone joined the Discord. We'd love to hear from you guys. Um, and I feel like we haven't dived as much into mental health a lot in, uh, in the, this whole past few months, which yeah. is something we should discuss more. Yeah. And I know May was like mental health month and we kind of missed that. It's July. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I and feel like we should dive into that almost a little bit in every episode, you know, in sure. one, one, one form or the other. Somehow we talked about poo when we went to this. There's ways to tie in mental health in anything. You know, it's definitely good for your mental health, man. And not to just take it, you know, advantage of the situation happening now. Yeah. But I see the chat right now. It's just like, what are they talking about? It's all over the place. Sometimes it's healthy to just not talk about anything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're so we're dealing with such heavy deals, and we're talking about such heavy. You mean talk about just like just having fun, yeah, 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 and yeah, and yeah, just yeah. laughing and yeah. ha- adding levity to it. You know, I'm not saying completely neglect what's going on, but also to balance out your health and how, sanity. How I could say it is, get your mind off your mind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's a yeah. very what I mean by that is like. Please explain because. Like, <laughs> 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 you, you, you made me believe it was fire. No, no. <laughs> was that like, mm was long as fuck. No, fun. what I mean is like I think we focus so much about what's on our mind and how our mind works mm-hmm. and not just sometimes it's not think about yeah, it. Like sure. the inner workings of it. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, so get your mind off your mind. There's two things a man should never worry about. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not fire? Not the coolest way to okay, say it. Okay, okay, okay. Also, I, I also like that we... We can jump from 
this topic to this topic, make it connect, maybe not connect. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. Tangent ain't no game. fucking rules to this shit. Yeah. Get you some friends that ain't also basic. Like it has to make sense. We have to follow training. Exactly. Of like just fucking roll. And here's the thing. This fuck. this is our pretty much our therapy right now. And I do believe that we all should have a form of therapy that doesn't revolve around us telling each other yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there needs sure. to be an extra layer where like we take it away because we tell each other everything. Right. But we need that extra person that yeah. we can really yeah. kind of you know. I I I subscribe to OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> That's your therapy? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. They open their DMs. So everybody, please join the Discord. Can we, t- we have anybody take a call? Start taking calls or what? You yeah, have to yeah, be taking yeah. a shit if you want to call in today. Call from the toilets, guys. <laughs> <laughs> call in from your toilets, sitting on your toilets. All right. We got a uh, wavy pizza. Wavy pizza. You're on there. Yo, what's good, y'all? How you doing, buddy? What up, homie? I am chilling, chilling. <clears throat> what's good? Tell us what's on your mind. Remember your mind? Uh, yeah, just listening to you guys discuss, you know, the mental health stuff. Uh, I totally get where you guys are coming from. Yeah, um, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, it's man. just the heavy times right now. Oh, mm-hmm. sorry? No, no, keep no. Going. Go keep ahead. Going. Yeah, just the heavy times right now. I think you have to really figure out what works for you. That's going to get you through. Uh, so for me, I actually took up running uh, about three months ago. I was never a serious runner. Right. Um, I'm, I'm a pretty decent athlete, but yeah, running was never my thing. But since obviously all the basketball courts are closed, I can't play soccer. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I started running a lot and actually it turned into a passion of mine now and I actually signed up for a marathon. So that's kind of one way I'm dealing to cope with uh, Wavy. all of mm. this. Wavy, why don't you tell the truth? What are you running from? <laughs> oh no. Or what are you it's running more towards? about what I'm running towards. Right. 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 Is it the toilet? Oh, is it the toilet by any chance? <laughs> Wavy, oh, Wavy. Come on. Man. Wavy, <laughs> what, 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 what is bothering you? What's the first thing you think of right now when I ask you that? What's bothering you? I don't know. Nothing's really bothering bothering me in particular, but what's the first thing that comes to mind? Depression. Depression. Oppression. Mm. Oppression. Oppression. From, from yes, of my of my brothers and sisters. That's what really frustrates me. What from they, your what older doing? brothers and sisters, or what? No, he's saying brothers and sisters, like you know. Oh, I was like my black brothers and my black. Yeah, brothers. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, he's that. obviously Korean. So. I don't know why the fuck I thought siblings in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So that's that's bothering you. What's going on in the world right now? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's crazy. Okay. Right when Rec asked that question, I like posed it to myself. Like, if I could answer it, it's just such a sensory overload of things that it's hard to just pinpoint what's bothering me. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a, it's like an umbrella of things, man. But one thing I definitely want to agree on: running is crazy. I. I started it and I kind of fell off on it. But one thing that's really cool about it is that's one of those activities where you could see the level up daily. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah, and that yeah. kind of. It's all like, about setting those little goals and exactly. just kind of achieving that. Like, like you're not running. It makes yeah. you feel better about yourself. Yeah, for I, sure. I think it's that, that the biggest progress thing that helps and it kind of you can apply it to everything is when you just stop less. Mm. You just keep running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when you're about right, to right. like run out completely of gas, you just mm-hmm. something in you just makes you go. <clears throat> you just yeah. have that will to go. And I right. think that's so that's something you can apply to every aspect of your life. You know what I'm saying? It's very admirable, right. man. All right. Good job, Wavy Pizza. Thank you. Did you buy running I shoes? Did you, like, did you like go deep into the hobby? Like, you know, you put some money into I did. It? What kind I of did. So I bought some running shoes. I got, you know, all this new equipment, just making sure I keep my legs fresh. Mm-hmm. Well, well, I actually well, ran by you, dumb. On the, I was running, uh, I think about a week ago. I saw you on the other side of the street. I just threw up a, you know, a deuce. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, man. I did. Sick. And uh, Ayo, shout out to Rec. I saw you at Escala last week, and I actually, uh, I shouted your name out. I saw you turn your head, and I was already gone, but that was me. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I was there, too. I was like, what? And I just ran right by, and I just I saw like, you looking at me. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm him. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> no, no, so, hey, uh, what kind of shoes did you get, though, to run? Oh, I got the I got a couple of shoes. Uh, my daily trainers are the Nike Pegasus 37s. Ooh, oh, those and great. then I also yeah. have the, uh, the the Zoom Flight threes, which are a little bit more uh, for racing. The Zoom Flight twos so, yeah, because the actual. threes are the the threes. Yeah, the threes. Nice. I will. I will. If if there's anybody out there trying to get into running. One thing I'll suggest is try to get all the ill running shit first, like yeah. the, the the shorts, the shoes. Yeah. It'll somehow help your routine because you wake up, you kind of oh, know the 100%. uniform you're going to have. You, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Put that on. It's easy to go. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't yeah, be nodding I so agree. much. <laughs> <because> yeah, <this laughs> <motherfucker's> <laughs> ran like four times. 
<laughs> and all hey, also, I want to mention a uh, shout out to the bidets out there. You know, I'm quarter Japanese, so every time I go back to Japan, I'm so happy that, that you know every bathroom has a bidet. So yeah, bidet yeah, experience is pretty luxurious, there. right? It's legit. Japanese. Oh, it is. Oh, I, it's so I think the Japan have fully implemented the bidet culture there, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so need uh, to get that train going here too. Last question. Yeah, would you would you buy bidet from um from me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll be your you first call. customer. Oh, yeah. Yo, pizza. Thanks for calling, brother. Appreciate it, thank, man. Thank you, pizza. I appreciate it. Take care. Pizza, pizza. All right. Um, let's get another caller. Who do we got? Let's do it. We got Sosas. 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 That's Rick. Sosas. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you're on there. Sosas. Hello. All right, let's keep it pushing. All right. What else we got? We got Shanwise. Don't laugh at that. Haram. 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 Hello. Yep. What's, What's up, bro? bro? Hello. Hello. Uh, he's that's, listening that's to the us. Twitch stream, it seems like. Oh, shit. What's up? I can hear you now. Okay. What's up? How you doing, man? Where are you calling from? What's up, dude? Uh, I'm from Montreal. I called before a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. How are you doing, bro? What's uh, what's on your mind? Yeah. I'm all right. Oh, man. Um, French Canadian. You guys were talking. Yeah. <laughs> you guys were talking about, like, the mental health and whatnot before. I was wondering, like, what what's that like in Korea? Like, is there is there, like, therapy in Korea? <clears throat> yeah. I think now it's starting to, uh, you know, be more accepted in the culture but no for a while it was a taboo <clears throat> thing to it's called, it's it's called soju <laughs> it's called soju it's called soju <laughs> and uh whorehouses that, that you know what that is low-key true that is how they deal with these like stress out there mm. yeah. you know um things that are on your mind yeah. uh even even in office culture work culture they get so stressed out and they have all these like all this passive aggression and all that stuff and then that's why they have so much company drinking yeah. sessions, you know, head mm, because be. there's like an unspoken rule yeah. where you can get all that out, but you just don't bring it back to work. That's crazy. Yeah. But I, yeah, mental but health, like, I think it's only becoming a real thing like now. Damn, I didn't know that. I didn't know Korea was, it was still taboo over there. There's a lot you can learn. Yeah, I was wondering just because... Uh... I don't know. I feel like I just I never I never see like anything in the media about it about like people being depressed or like <clears throat> or like they don't they don't have like a month dedicated to it or anything like we do in America or in the Western world. And it was just like that's kind of crazy. That kind of saddens me a little bit seeing all these suicides and like depressed celebrities. There's <laughs> no like support groups or like you know places right. where yeah. you go. It's that's like they shove it under the blanket. Wow. Like it's supposed to be hidden. Yeah. Especially when entertainment and kind of like the facade is the most not most important, but it's such a strong element. I feel yeah. like yeah, damn, that's crazy. They need to dig a little deeper. Yeah, I mean, you know, in in Korea, you know, if there's a there's such thing as a society's societal pressure. I think it's at a it's a high peak in Korea. You For know, sure. since you're a kid, where your your parents you gotta get good grades, you gotta go to this school, you gotta be like, you know, the neighbor down the street or your cousin, and then growing up, going to the work, you know, everything, and, and then looking at TV and that was fast as shit. And 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 how they um, worship the media and celebrity culture. Yeah, yeah. It, the Korea has like the worst, the, like the highest suicide rate for like kids and shit like teenagers. that's a good question like japan how about, and how about japan does japan have therapy over there mm -hmm. i don't i don't know oh um, what are you probably just <clears> wondering <throat> he's not oh he's is he from Japanese. japan too oh yeah. okay okay come on minority report <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> korean. <laughs> he's korean he's, like... he's half japanese guys you can't tell what are you <laughs> are you half japanese no, I'm I'm full Korean. What is wrong with you, You're bro? A psychopath, yeah, why man. would you even just assume? When he said something about the bidet, I heard him say something about half Japanese. Oh no, that was that was the previous caller. <laughs> when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me, bro. Fuck, right? I'm sorry, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> Remember that when your teacher used to say it? Jesus. You can't just blend two callers into two one. Two Changs, you can't say anything. You've been saying post bidet, Rick. <laughs> All right, don't bro me right now. It's because I messed up for the first time in my yeah, life. I don't know. I think, I think therapy is important in every culture. I think that needs to open up out in Korea too, yeah, far as is. actual therapy. <laughs> yeah, and this is coming from somebody who's never gone to therapy, by the way. <laughs> but I've been my I, I'm planning a session real soon. Yeah, like my first ever therapy <laughs> session. I'm gonna go in and talk to somebody. 
That's very amazing. fancy of you. I, I feel like I need to. I have deep rooted issues, how much, like how much, with like my dad, my sister. How much, is the, I got, how much does it cost? It's probably gonna be anywhere between a hundred to two hundred dollars mm. for mm. a session. Cheaper than a bidet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bidet. I, don't know. I think. I think there is his own form of therapy. <laughs> Rick <laughs> Curdley. I got you. Rick's gonna be on a th- bidet for like twenty minutes and be like, "Rick, what are you doing?" <laughs> 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 he's like it just feels so good he's all, he's all crying and shit he's like yeah. i had a breakthrough well Hanam, thanks for calling bro appreciate it we got uh danny flow danny, danny flow danny fio danny fio yo hey guys can you hear me yeah hey. person how you doing where are you I, calling from i i, I imagine i, the I wrong can't gender. get their ethnicity yeah, yeah. the gender i mean none of yes. i got you danny. so i you guys Hello. yeah man yeah i'm danny i'm 100 percent white Nice. And yeah, <laughs> and um, <laughs> no, no, because I, I actually am like so, I'm so nervous right now. My heart's like beating out of my chest. I've been super excited to like get on here and talk to you guys. Oh, I'm in New Jersey right now, but I'm, I, yeah, man. I, uh, I live in DC, but uh, Monmouth County, so like smack in the middle of the state, you know. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, so I, I, I lived in Bergen I, for a little bit. My, my bad. Right, go on, go on. Oh uh, no, shit. Uh, that's awesome. What's on yeah, your mind? Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, man. So, well, I don't know, a bunch of things. First of all, I'm so glad that you're going to like therapy for the first time. Mm-hmm. That's like really mm-hmm. dope. I've been I've been doing that for like, a long time. And yeah, the the price is about right. I pay I I pay like, 250 a pop yeah, for yeah. a session. It's 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 insane. And even with insurance, it's only going to give me back like actually I negotiated down to 225. But even with insurance, it'll only give me back like 50 bucks, but like Yeah. Like besides 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 my rent, it's the thing I probably spend the most money on, and I go every other week. But wow. it's yeah. definitely so worth it. Like sometimes, like you just like can't talk to you. Mean, I don't want to talk to your your parent, or if you have both parents, you know, I only have one. But like you know, you don't want to talk to them all the time about it, or yeah. you know, you don't want to talk to your friends. And you know what? Like your friends sometimes they don't have the tools that don't have the tools That's and true. like the capacity to support you in the way that you need and right. the therapist can have that and your therapist honestly they, they're they don't give a shit they don't give a shit they're not in your family life you know they have like a different perspective so right. like, it's super dope that you're that you're doing that that's super sick yeah there might be um, like but, with friends and family you know without even them knowing there might be little biases as they give you advice you know what i'm saying so yeah. you might need that yeah. professional kind of a therapy <clears throat> no. therapist helping you that's very honorable for sure because a lot of people in the asian community they kind of look at it as a weakness maybe you know what i mean just kind of yeah. like why are you going therapy you don't need that shit but i think it's very important if you're going to go to the gym and work out physically you need to go and you know work out your mental mm-hmm. too there's a lot of shit that's holding yeah. us back like anchoring us so i think that's ex- yeah, that's yeah. exciting i, I, mean, I mental, actually need mental therapy health, too mental health and like physical health go hand in hand you know like you know yeah. people who um are like terminally ill like a lot of times it's their outlook that pulls them out of that you could know you, could you, could you. and um you know, uh, even cancerous cells inside you, they react. If you, the more stressed out you are, that's just going to come out and it's going to multiply. Um, but I yeah. do think it should be a little bit more accessible as far as the price, though. Because, no, no, because, dude, I totally agree. Because like personal trainer is like when you work out, personal trainer costs about like seventy five dollars for like an hour to an hour and a half. Yeah. Average. You know what I'm saying? And then you, yeah. you do fucking mental health like hour. Probably. Is it, is it like an hour <laughs> session? How long is a session? It's like 45 minutes. It could maybe go to an hour, but it's supposed to be like the 45 That's minutes, last 15 That's minutes. It's like, wild. oh, like you yeah. swipe. It, it is. Well, also, so my person I go to, by the way, is like out of network. If you found someone in network, you'd pay less. It just so happened that I found this person. They were out of network and they were just so good. I just couldn't just yeah. couldn't say no kind of thing. Um, but besides this also, like I, the other reason I kind of like found you guys is because even though like I'm super white, um, I've just been super into like just pop korean culture like i like, listen to a ton of like podcasts like eric nam's podcast tableau's podcast like right. the whole thing now you guys and i actually during quarantine even though it's really intense right now for a lot of people and i totally get that i've really been trying to take this opportunity to my advantage like because i'm not going anywhere i have a lot more money than i oh not a lot more but i have more money than i have ever had or have had in the past so i spent some money on a songwriting and production class um this month and nice. i've been producing my you. first songs Oh, I'm like super stoked that I get to actually take the time to like explore this new side of me that I never was able to because I think I really am destined for a more of a creative career than I'm in right now. Ooh, That's what career cool. are you in? I'm in like a government contracting position and 
Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, the thing is, is, you know, I, I got a degree in international development. So, like, I do have a master's in that. And I love, like, kind of being able to give back. Fortunately, like, what I'm in is very kind of administrative in nature. And I like to kind of shift what I'm doing maybe in this field. But my understanding is that, especially when you're starting, like, you know, I like to be able to try to try this producer songwriting thing on the side for some time. And I don't know if I could do it full time. I'm not sure if I'm good enough at it, but that's kind of why I'm trying this out now because I have well, the opportunity. Not, I have the time. I think your happiness will shift and then it just starts from there, you know, uh, and then once... it'll, it'll go down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The truth is you're happy. It'll shift into happy. It's exciting and happy at first. <laughs> And there's a very dark stage. We yeah, call like yeah. we call that the dark ages. But uh, if you know it's yeah. gonna come, then you'll be okay. That's but, uh, true. I, I I do want to ask you two questions. Uh, one is more serious. One is more uh, even more serious. So the first I mean, question is, um, is there any like kind of breakthroughs that you could share with us, or anything you know from your sessions? Oh man, yeah. I think I think I probably could. Okay. Uh, damn. Try- so that would be I mean, helpful I guess, actually to all, all our listeners, yeah. like what the benefits of this session. The yeah, sessions. Yeah, I was going to ask a similar question. Like, if you had any doubts walking in, and then the moment when you're like, "Oh shit, this is actually crazy." But ignore his question and answer mine. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to think. I think one one of the one of the big things I guess I could say was. But there was a guy that I was into for quite a period of time and uh, it turns out that like I kind of had come across something called the narcissist empath dynamic and I figured out that he was like narcissistic personality mm-hmm. uh, so I came into like in, into therapy about it and it turned out this is kind of somewhat coincidence but it turned out that she happened to be like she's an expert on narcissistic personalities oh, wow. and so through working with her I came to realize that like about what this type of personality is. And this is a kind of person who like, it's always about them at the end of the day and they'll kind of do whatever they need to do to get what they want. And I was, and I'm like a big giver, but he's somebody who's a taker. Mm. So as some, so I kind of came to realize that, oh, actually, you know, I can kind of give and give and give, but like he will never be able to give back to me in return. Mm, So, so, so I just need to kind of like, now I, my expectations with this person are like, they're like out of the basement, like below the ground even. And so like, I don't really expect anything from him because like I, I'm a person who wants a mutual relationship, even a friendship. And so I'm not going to be able to get what I'm giving. I know that now. Mm. And so I'm not going to like keep investing. Did he know you, did he know you liked him? Yeah. yeah, like yeah, He, he knew like it, it basically, it, it went, it went further, but then he like, he like had somebody else so it was a very like awful awkward situation right. but it took me longer to get, it took me a lot longer to go get over it than i thought because i'm like but this dude like in two time me like what's wrong with this person and yeah. what's wrong with me for still liking this person like are you serious but uh but learning that he, he has this kind of personality and that he kind of always needs his like bucket filled so to speak a normal right. person has a bucket and they you fill the bucket with water and it gets, yeah. keeps getting filled right. but and, someone and, like him has a bucket with holes in it and it keeps getting filled mm, with water keep filled with water because it's never full and you, and you got yeah. activated because you're a giver so like it exactly. made sense for you, was, you exactly you kind of feeling that little addiction of your own already right. even you questioning like wow how could i like this per- so you know you, you there was a there was an attack on that that's crazy yeah. Um, but all right, cool. Well, thanks for thanks for calling. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thank you. Hey, thank you. Hey, good luck with all your endeavors, you know. And uh, yeah, keep it keep thanks, on. guys. That's good, huh? We should end there. Yeah, we can end there. We can end there. We had a, we had a good talk, guys. Uh, I want to thank sorry. everybody in the chat. Um, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate um, people who are uh, who shared their personal moments with us about therapy. Mm. That's not easy to do. Um, obviously, something I'm going to dive into. Uh, Are we going to do go, any more calls? Go, or? Hey, go follow me on Twitch. I think I'm about to hit 1,800. Ooh. I'm like three away or some shit. So follow me on Twitch if you haven't already done so. I know a lot of my community is already here. You know, my, my music video, Young Adult Fiction, we just hit 50K views. Mm. Trying to hit that 100K views, though. So check that out as well. Follow me on Instagram. Let's go. Bomb. Everybody got your little plugs in? 100%. Uh, Yox, we just dropped a new video. It's a performance piece. It's a 10-minute joint. Oh. I know you guys are, you know, you missed a little live performances. So we did a, uh, a little compilation. 
to go check that out. Uh, the Nafla joint is out. The audio song is out. So Yo. if you want to run up the numbers, if we get 50K on our YouTube, we will drop that video ASAP. Go, go subscribe to Year the Ox. And yeah, someone asked, right what about now. the Yox oh, MV? If you haven't already. Please, thank All you right, so guys, much. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please join us next week. I hope you all had a good time. Shout out to the chat over here. We'll see you guys next week for another episode Let's of go. Fun with Dom. Wipe your asses. <laughs> Bidet. Peace. Bidet to you, sir. <laughs>